Hi everyone, Mikazu Dragon here, and today is going to be a kind of somewhat, I don't know how long it's going to be, I'm just going off the top of my head, because I want to talk about this, and I want to get this off my chest, so basically Asmund Gold is talking about how, uh, yeah this is not a dragon's discussion, I want to put my spin on it, uh, but before that, I do not think Asmund Gold is wrong. I just think he's still missing some points that can be obvious, but not, is not always obvious. Um, just to bring it up so people will talk about it, because I, yes, Gacha is gambling, but is that the only way they can make these pay to win games even worse? And the answer is absolutely not. There is still a lot more things to do, and here's my example of pay to win without really a gacha, but it's, it's some of it, and, I, and I'll talk about more stuff too, to try, try to fill in what Aspen doesn't, like, specifically talk about, in my opinion, um, because, unlike Aspen, I, I fumbled into the mobile games and, you know, spent some money, I haven't spent, like, mega amounts of money, but, I can, like, say, like, this is basically almost e in every single mobile game, to some degree, and the main issue is that, like, e it's, it's, it's designed to, like, if, since we're all bored, right, we're all bored, we want entertainment, and most of us will, the, older folks of us like you know born in the 90s we think uh what's the most what game will give us the most amount of fun fun for the least amount of money and how much content there is and how much re replayable content there is but what i feel like these mobile games have done is they're able to capitalize on the on the part where we want to extract as much fun from the game and you know solve puzzles on how to get stronger and how to progress your character like either really fast or just make it feel like really good and of course to be better than other people they definitely capitalize on that because um so here we have Immortal Legends. Um, I played this one back in 2021. And then we have this one. It looks very similar. And um, I guess I'll play it in the background. No sound. Uh, back in 2019. So basically I played these games at work. But then I will play these games at home too because I, I was bored and I want I I back when I thought like games had well not even when I thought back when games had my like full attention like one game wasn't enough for me I needed like two or three games I needed like one or two games on the side while I'm playing my main game to be running in the background thinking about progression and as you see like these games are like fun puzzle games to make your character stronger and you don't know what's going to make your character stronger until you test it out and a lot of times like You, you can go the free-to-play way and see what makes you stronger, but that's a lot slower. Or you can spend some money and speed up that process and get to that point where you're, like, in the top 10. And, um... You... You're at that level where there's not that many people challenging you, so... You think you're doing good enough until they... Until you realize, oh, they actually kind of did their homework on, on the game, 
and it's kind of hard for some of these games because they're not like super popular they're popular enough to have people spend like tens of thousands of dollars on them but they're not popular enough to have like hundreds of people or at least the ones i played it's not like hundreds of people are spending tens of thousands of dollars which you know that does happen which is the sad part so as you see there and then this one it, they're, they're basically the same game it's just like as you see in my eyes it's, it's just the same format just with different stuff and then um you know updated it's been updated like this like this one is back in 2019 is kind of fuzzy and then this one is nice and crisp but to be fair i played this one on an emulator and i played this on one on my actual phone or i should say i've recorded these um but yeah you're basically just going through menus to uh power up your character and trying to get the various items to give you the various bonuses and I forgot to oh no I didn't so while this is going up I'm gonna scoot it over uh, I'll make this a little bit bigger uh, we're gonna bring in paint So, so next I want to talk about like the spending. The spending is like, let's say, we'll, we'll give a rough example, right? The game just came out. There's one server. Everyone's playing on that one server, right? Server one, right? And to get to like the top 10 and to stay in the top 10 over like a month or two, let's just say it will cost you about 1,000, oh my God, okay, that's a bad one. I'm just gonna do a regular one. 1,000 through $2,000, right? Man, that sucks. Can we erase this, please? <laughs> Two. Better. Right? All right. So you're in the top 100, because guess what? These games have leaderboards. Because you, they want you competing against everyone else. And then, you know, in the moment, this is what you have. Oh, I gotta buy this to get that, to get my power level even stronger. I go over there and buy this and get that and do all these quests and do this and do that. Just to keep raising that power level. And it's just, oh, it's only $100 here. Oh, another $100 over there. And if I spend another extra $100, I get a full list of even more stuff I get. And it just keeps, the, there's always one more thing that brings you to that point where it's, oh, it's just an extra five or $10 to get this next prize that I'm almost at already to get even more stuff. All right, so two to three months have passed. People are dropping out the game. And in your two to three months, they release nine servers, right? So you have server one through nine, or one through 10, right? And then guess what? Since the servers are dying, we're gonna merge the servers. Actually, before I get to that, so you have, so you have Arena, you have Guild Wars, and then on top of that, you have server arena and server guild wars so not only are you competing against your server to be number one 
now you're competing against it depends on the game but between like three to s three to seven uh different servers and you don't know how how much they're spending unless you like create a character and actually go in there and you know see their rankings and see what they're doing all right and so what they'll do they'll package a server merge so now everyone you was competing with is on the same server so server one through um we'll say server one through five is now server one and server six through ten is server two on top of that it'll probably be more like probably like one through four and there'll probably be a bit more servers um because guess what they still want you to do cross server arena and cross server guild wars so while you're in those sections of servers they they might release like four new servers and on top of that they'll release an update that unlocks well not unlocks but uh brings out new items that's even stronger than your old items and guess what those items cost seven thousand dollars through fifteen thousand dollars with a whole list new of events that's even more uh more into the power creep that will get you even more power for spending a hundred dollars so say a hundred dollars and this bracket gave you 2.5 bill power, right? Uh, 2.5 bill. This bracket, if you spend that much amount of money, you might only get 1.5 bill. And so to get even more power than that, if you spend the seven to $15,000, you'll probably get You might get like 7.8 billion power. Look, don't. I should have typed this out, but oh well. I think the text is. Uh, I would have to fix it, and I'm lazy. So keep that in mind. Not only do you have to worry about. In a lot of these games, like. Do, do I have a recording of it? Let me see if I have a recording of it. I know one mobile game I was playing, they had, <clears throat> when I joined, it was like 957 server or something like that. I think this one E2, like this one it was in the 900s, I think. I just don't show, I just don't show me logging in, but. This one too. So there's 900 servers that people can spend tens of thousands of dollars on these games. Some only do like a few servers. I like the ones that only do like one to five servers and they don't add any more. But even then, that's still a lot. But 900? Why do you need 900 servers? Why do you need 1,200 servers? You don't. And they capitalize on people just joining in, having fun, trying to have even more fun by spending money, and then merging the server so you have to compete with other people that were spending money just to not only compete cross-server to bring in even new, newer people that you didn't even know into your cross-server range to increase the spending that you're doing because I guess that's one thing I can show is uh, let's say server you know this server was spending just ten thousand dollars right this server was spending 
$35,000. So if you bring that in, are you, do you want to compete with that? Can you afford to compete with that? You don't think about these things in the moment, but when it happens and you think, because you know, after a while you get bored, but at the same time you're comfortable being like in the top five or the top 10. And you're like, yeah, I got this spot, I'm good. I'll just slowly spend money to try to push through the ranks slowly and slowly. And then, boom, out of nowhere, if you're not truly paying attention to what's going on around you, server merge, and then you're competing against these guys. It's crazy. It's crazy. I watch, like, I would say this, oh, it's over. This game, I spent probably like five, six hundred dollars on it. Um, yeah, and I tried hard in this game. It, it took me a few months to get to 200. I was very proud of it. But then, like, at the same time, the server was slowly dying. And then there's also, like, certain things are just the power. That's another thing I, I, I want to talk about is the, the gaps in power you need to climb and how much money that costs. This is why you're spending thousands of dollars on the game because like there's these like there's also like server bosses and they're really strong and only one server can claim the prizes and only the top damage of that server claims the top top prize of you know uh the, like like a top hero or top gear and it's just yeah, you, it, it might be like the best wings you get and you know that's cool and all but like guess what it's around the corner an update that will bring out even stronger stuff and it's worse when you bring in that stronger stuff with a server merge and it's, it's and like I said they have a whole slew of events for server mergers and on top of that they they it depends on the game itself too like they might hold off on the next tier of items until the server merch is done and when you're like wow i spent a lot of money i got a lot of power and then it's like all right now that's done guess what these items are way stronger than the ones you just have and it's just like where there's the gacha and there there's no real gacha you buy the items you obtain the items basically but then there's also a lot of times the, uh, for, for some of these items, you're competing for them. You're competing against other players. So you got to spend more money. You got to spend the most money to get number one. And they'll do this in, a, in server rankings too. Cross server rankings. So now look, look at this. 10 million power. You would see this item in your own server. And then you might see a better item or different item. Um, same stats too, but now you have to compete against multiple servers to try to get it. Um, another issue I have with all these monetizations is that we're going to clear this can I clear this oh, can I? no uh, I don't know how to clear things so I'm just going to move off the stream <laughs> that's all I know how to do the, the quick way I will try text I don't know how to Resize the text. We'll play this. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's me, now you. Haha. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can find that one game I was playing. This all, yeah, this happened a while ago. I'm kind of surprised it's been that long. 
Oh, wizard and minion idol. Okay. I don't want to. Oh, 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 but. So now we're getting to like the business model now. And what I don't like for all these stuff, not only just the gambling part, but just like the the shameless of just throwing every single way you can spend money at you. So like what is it? Do I have it somewhere? I know I do, but I don't know when I did it. Oh. Yeah, this 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 all comes from experience with multiples of mobile games. Cause like I played a lot of mobile games. Cause Summoner's War is the only one I've like played the longest and stayed free to play. I still have yet. I wouldn't even say yet, but I still have never spent money on Summoner's War, and I have um, spent money in other mobile games. So, uh, like I said, this one, like, yeah, you know, I think it was like fi around 500, but this one was only, like, I think around like 300, but then I, I was just dumb and spent a lot of money on Raid Shadow Legends. I spent like $800, and by then I was just like, hating my life because like I was just being so dumb but I was just so bored of just waiting and not buying any or doing anything with other games like I would like dip into Maple Story sometimes I'll dip into POE but it's just like I played Maple Story for over I'll say around 10 years and then it's just like I would just come back for certain things it has to be around here somewhere I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to see that video, but uh, I can't find it. So we'll, we'll move on to like what's out there, right? So the main thing for me is like the like the biggest thing. Well, I wouldn't say that it's the biggest, but like the two items I say that wasn't in any other games and was only in like FPS game was the was the battle pass and what was it the loot boxes right those were all mainly an fps and maybe in some gacha games but not i would say more loot boxes but you know the, the gachas because like there is an end to the loot boxes and call of duty but there's definitely almost no end to like the gachas and mobile games because what they learn to do is just create new characters all the time. Or not even all the time, but like, you know you're going to get a new character eventually. And then, um, make them just way stronger. And then make, not only make them way stronger, but make them way harder to upgrade. So you're spending even more money to upgrade them than you did the previous units. But if you do it, and you're successful on upgrading them, then you're stronger than everyone else. Yeah, I can't find it. I have no clue where it's at. Maybe it's back in like 2019 somewhere. Was it really three years ago I did that? I have no clue. So what else is in? Uh, so let's let's talk about those two first. Because guess what happened? Um, battle passes and loot boxes, they're in mobile games now. They're in uh, regular games. Lost Ark has a battle pass. Uh, who else? I don't even know right now. And it's just like, my issue with the battle pass is more quests you have to do every single day. Or you have to just buy it out so you don't have to worry about it. And it's usually like if it goes to level 100 it's a hundred dollars it's like a dollar a level to buy it all out and it's just i don't want to have to deal with that every single month 
every single month you have to do this and it's just it's exhausting after a while like I did it in Apex Legends it was very hard to get to level 110 to get your stuff but if you did it guess what your next battle pass was free and if you did that battle pass your next battle pass was free because guess what they gave you enough currency to um, to buy the next battle pass for free but you had to complete like I'll say like 80% of the battle pass so what's next VIP this is why it's worse in mobile games to have a battle pass is VIP because they get around you getting a free battle pass by doing it locked behind a VIP and making sure you you're already VIP like three or five to buy the battle pass it's insane it's dumb and I don't like it guess why because guess what you have to spend money and I don't have money because I want to buy other stuff I'm not I could buy it but like another thing there are oh my god there are thousands of mobile games you can spend your money on and when you get bored of one guess what you just go to the next one and this is fun and fine until you've like I dare you to play 10 mobile games at once free to play and actually grind through all of them and get to like end game you will lose your shit it's boring it's 100% a time waster because the gaps and the power levels that I have to go through, it depends on the game, but like, you, you just like hit a wall and then basically it's either spend money or wait to, because they only give you limited resources every day and every week and every month. And the only way to get more than that is to spend money and some are more lenient than others in that and now you know you, we see uh, Diablo Immortal like you can play through the whole game and not spend money but then once you hit end game and you need five star gems you need to farm up a bunch of gems you have to spend money Um, I need to pull up a gacha game right now. Like, my brain's kind of fried. Just give me a second. Um, uh, so we're gonna talk about gacha. So there's two ways they can do it. You can, one, summon for the unit itself, or summon for pieces of the unit. I hate the second one more than the first one. I loathe the second one more than the first one. Uh, do I have another video? Let me find another video. Hmm. Let me see. Give me a second. I'm just blind. Sorry, guys. Right, it should be somewhere around here. I'm I'm just blind, dude. Maybe it's before raid. I have no clue. Let 
Well, we're mainly going to talk about the first one since I hate the second one so much. Where is it? 2021? Oh, we'll, we'll just go to this mobile game. This is the one I thought I liked, and then, like, I lost my file, so I just said whatever. Alright, uh... Where is it? Dude, I've been talking for 30 minutes, no way. Um, so we're mainly gonna focus on the first one, because that's the one I know the most, and that's the one I'm basically willing to take on out of the two gachas. And... We'll, we'll talk about a little bit about the second one, but... Basically, you have the unit. Uh, you need to get that unit to six stars, and then you need to awaken the unit. Right? This is basically the basic thing. Uh, oh, also, you need to skill them up. Depending on the mobile game, I know some they do different ways to skill them up. Um, but basically, this is the basic formula. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm playing Idol Huntress right now. And to get each star, you need, so their first, no stars. And to get them to one star, you need, so, so, uh, the zero stars mean you got one copy. If you get them to one star, that means you got, you got another copy. So you now have two copies. To get them to two stars, you need four copies. And then to get them to three stars, you need uh, seven copies. And then from there, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Four stars is 10. This is all consecutive though, like 13. And then for the final six stars is 16 copies. The chance to get that one specific unit, luckily in this game, is there they have you, the normal summons they have two units you could pick that you have higher chance to get the one of those two units um but you still have a chance to get like all the previous units go watch my idol huntress videos you can kind of see how it works i would say my summon videos and then um yeah Oh, we gotta move this up. Can I move this? Move up. Mm, I don't know. So, we'll type it here. Is there a new one? Oh, no, 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 no. Text. We'll type it here. So, to get one. 10 star unit, it can either cost you $10 or it can cost you $100, right? This is the range. This is just for one. And you need 16. Will you spend that much? No, I... I this does not... Uh, does it... Yeah, like I said, it's it's luck based. So sometimes one temple can get you that unit, and sometimes it might take you four to five or six. But I think let me check. Cause sometimes you get really lucky, you get three units um we'll just say the rarity 
is rare through SSR. Right? And you want the SSR. Hold on, let me find this again. I don't think it's going to take you a thousand dollars to get them a six star, but it will cost you some money. Because there, there are other ways to get certain units. It might be, it might not be the units you want to get, but there are some units out there will help you push to higher stars. But to like, to specifically go after a certain unit, I would probably say it might cost you somewhere around. Either, if you're really lucky, no, six stars. None of my units are six stars yet. I'm, I'm just going to say 200 to 1,000, depending on your luck. And guess what? of five and then oh and then huh? and you also need two other teams of five I don't know what's going on with this we I don't know where to put all this, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm driving myself crazy. Let's just put this. We'll just leave it. Uh, just something like that. Two bad guys. We'll extend this and then I'll get good. And you can't see all of this. So you need five SSRs, six stars, and you all need to summon all of those 16 times. And that's if you want to do uh, units that are easy to summon. I would say this game is somewhat generous, but guess what? They also do... Can you see this? Okay. They also do limited time units. So if you want these limited time units, you have to do it within let's just say seven days. Or wait a month or two to bring like boom. Oh, we're, we're just gonna cover the rest. That's what happens. You get limited units. And then seven days, you either try to get them to a decent star level or you just spend your money 
and you get them to six star and you don't have to deal with that unit but guess what there's more units coming out there's more of this there's more of that there's just always more you can spend your money on what the heck okay where's youtube okay i'm gonna bring this over here i'm gonna play this video and we're gonna try to find one more mobile game while I talk about the final thing I want to talk about. There's probably more stuff. I'm I'm just kind of burnt out of talking about this. But to wrap this all up, because there's, there's more. There's a lot more they do. I can't go over every single one. But I'd rather just talk about it, get it out there, make people aware of what these people are doing. Well, not these, but what these businesses are doing to just drain your money. Oh my god, is it really that long ago I did that? I have no clue. I doubt it. I severely doubt it. I know I have videos of like. Or maybe I just only did Twitch of that. Man, it's been three years since I really played Guitar Hero. That's fucking sad. So I guess I'll say like I wish Ashman would like bring on people that have spent lots of money or not even lots of money just a decent amount of money on these mobile like not just even one mobile game but multiples to like try to get them to say like what what their game did to you know or to just like say what the game did like what step I don't know how to work this. What functions? What I don't know. I'm like I said. I'm 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 slowly losing my thoughts and uh, how to say stuff. So. Ooh, I'm getting so mad because I can't find these stupid YouTube videos. Here we go. Here's one. See, this is when I was spending money part two. There you go, there you go. There, just things to for you to spend money. Um all right, uh let's erase all this. So my final point, I was going to get to business, but we talked about, um, we talked about a gotcha and other stuff. Oh, I was going to go over the other gotcha. So basically, I, I'll, I'll just say it a little bit. Uh, so for the pieces, you only summon pieces and they, they might have the same model of like SSRs, SR are rare super rare super super rare ultra rare omega rare it depends on movie right and then you summon for the pieces of that unit not even the unit so you might have like a 0.001 percent chance to summon the actual unit but most of the time it's it's more like you might have a 0.05 percent chance to get like third like half the pieces or 25 percent out it depends on the mobile game but usually you summon anywhere between like two to like 10 pieces of that unit and you probably need for like an SSR, maybe 50 pieces, maybe 100 pieces, somewhere between there, 50 to 100. And it's bad because guess what? You have like 30 units and you don't know which unit you're gonna get. It's all random. You, you, you just summon 
ten times, you get like two pieces of this, do one piece of that, do uh, five pieces of this one. Oh, oh my god, ten pieces of this one. It's trash. I hate it. Alright, so. The business. This is why I think will happen is that since since uh in my eyes uh I think um I'm gonna move this over so you can watch me gotcha in that game and get you just to do dumb stuff um, since you know loot boxes and gacha makes money we want that in our game we want to make This is what's happening. The businesses, they, they look to, you know, who made two billion from loot boxes? And that was Call of Duty. Who made millions, hundreds of millions of dollars on Gacha? Uh, what's, what's the big one now? Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh my god. What, I, why can my brain not function right? I'm so mad. Genshin Impact. So, what is it? I don't even know how to spell it. So they're gonna look at the top selling mobile games or the top selling loot boxes, which is also uh and then guess what? We're gonna Cause one day this will happen. What no, Lost Ark is uh, still an MMO. They'll infect your single player games too. One day. I think it might have happened. I don't even know. I don't keep up with single player games no more. Not really. But guess what? It also, you know. Uh, what is it? Uh. Battle passes are already in MMORPGs. They used to never have battle passes, and guess what? Hey, we can make extra money selling battle passes. Boom. It's a lost arc. Um, it's not a maple story. But it's just going to spread. And then guess what? All this stuff, all these things... If it's cool enough to get into more and more games, more MMORPGs are willing to go by that. I think, is it in, is it in, do we have a battle pass in New World? I have no clue. I don't think so. But I wouldn't put a pass on if they put it in one day. And it's just like these, these features and these mobile games, they can become features in an MMORPG. And that's something I don't want. Because, you know, back in the day, MMORPGs equals time wasters. And now, 
RP equals I don't want this. I just want MMORPGs to be time wasted. What's that game? Uh, BDO. Black Desert Online. Do they have a battle pass? I have no clue. I don't know. Mm. But basically, this this is what's happening. And I don't like it. I don't like this. I, I hate battle passes now. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I don't want to do something daily and have to log in. I want to log in because I want to play the game. I want to advance in the game, not because I need to keep up with everyone who else who's spending money. Even though that was also kind of my mindset, why I play like 12 hours a day, every single day of MapleStory for, uh, when, when I played it try hard, I would play 12 to 15 hours a day on the weekend and as long as possible during the weekdays just to keep up with you know everyone else and in those three years i did i definitely uh i made nine characters level 200 and i just grinded the shit out of it and then guess what they nerfed it and they made it even easier than it already was to get to level 200 it wasn't that easy it took you like a month well it took me about three weeks to a month depending on the character to get from level 1 to 200 and I did that nine times in three years of course I took breaks in between and you know had my fun and stuff took breaks to enjoy the time and to recover but at least during that journey it's like I got to beat people now it's just like to be with the people you, you kind of have to spend money or spend an extreme amount of time just grinding through and then getting stuff and then wait and then to collect resources and once you get the resources and try to power up and it, it, it just that to me it just doesn't feel like how it used to be where back then it was more community based now it's like silks it's like solo play and then once you get strong enough then you play with others now i want to be able to play with others whenever i i want to that's why i love maple story so much is if i would just want to grind solo i just grind solo if i wanted to do party quests and to be around people i'll do party quests or i'll just hang around town and talk to people there's you know, there's a few things. The thing about it, it's, it's not that much, but it meant something. And there wasn't, back then, there wasn't ways to, like, spend money to get stronger other than, like, double EXP. But I didn't really care because, guess what? I'll make it back up because once you're done with your double EXP and you stop grinding, I'll keep grinding and I'll catch up and I'll, I'll, I'll catch up and then I can play around the people who wanted to spend the time to play the game because I want to spend time with people who want to spend time with the game and talk about the game and talk about random stuff and whatever we want to talk about not oh I spent money so I'm here and I can talk to the other people who spent money that are now here I don't know uh, I'm kind of burnt out guys it's, it's been almost an hour sorry for a super long video it's just a rant I, I, I just want to just iterate one more time i don't think asking gold is wrong i just think he can point out either he can point out more things or he could probably bring out other people to point out like what gets them interested in like spending money and progression in these games because like i've, I've done it like you, you, you can see me do it here it's it's interesting to get your power up and find the best way to get your power up the cheapest way even though you're spending way more than you need to because guess what there there is a um 
there's a surefire way to get to the top and spend like the least amount of money and then there's you know the people that just say I'm just gonna keep spending money until I'm number one and like what's what's the point of that what's the point of that if you didn't do it yourself in my opinion It's like an, like, you, you can, like, tag this to any game, and it just won't be fun. Because guess what? It, it's just like activating cheat codes to get whatever you want. Is the game more fun? Yeah, for a little bit. But then once you go through all the content, super OP, and you one-shot everything, there's no more things to one-shot. There's no more. You, you did it already. You killed all the monsters. You killed every single boss. You killed them one-shot the game basically over unless you just like the movement and the feel of the game and just like exploding that you're going to move to the next game you're going to do it again you're going to cheat your way to the top you're going to make everything super super easy you're going to get to the end game and then you're going to be like hey this end game's kind of boring can you make it more challenging and then you're going to go you're going to go one of two ways hey this end game is really pay to win or you're going to go oh this is great now i can spend even more money to be number one and be even more OP and then you're gonna turn to him and go hey there's no more content where's the next content to me the journey of the MMO or not even just the MMO of these games is the whole point of of, of wasting your time in the journey the exploration the training the the gear grinding the the learning, the talking to the community, the, the 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 exploiting of the game to get your teams even stronger, your character even stronger. It's just, just, just do everything inside the game without having to worry about money. But in the end, guess what? Companies, they need money. Sadly, they need money. And how they go out about doing this is what you guys can support you it's your money you can do what you want with your money so if you don't like it don't spend it spend it somewhere else and hopefully i, I don't know like that's not good enough hopefully there are laws against the gambling part but then i think they'll sway more to like back to these types of games maybe or they might create even the, i think that is the new way right now is to make multiple currencies multiple currencies that you have to buy to to try to make you forget how much money you spent that is definitely like part of the newer way right now but guess what if that doesn't work who knows what's next i don't know I don't, oh my god gaming's just so it's such such a kind of a bad spot right now um yeah I, i'm just I'm just kind of sick of it right now. It sucks. Whatever. Bye. Alright, sorry about that. I kind of just rage quit because my brain just doesn't want to work. I'm very tired after talking for an hour. Oh my god. But basically, I'll just wrap this up to say if there's any other ways, any other things I miss about these games, just trying to blatantly scam you out your money leave a comment down below and let's talk about this stuff and your your voice does matter go to the forums do do it legit because that's another thing i forgot to talk about go to the forums post your thoughts don't don't get angry with them though because if you start yelling and start raging they're just going to throw you out. That's when you don't matter. So they want your feedback. And just tell them, hey, if you want my money, do this, not that. Do this, not that. And when they come out with surveys, do their surveys. Because guess what? They're casting their net of what they what they think is okay in a mobile game or in your game to make you spend money and they're just asking questions that wants to get enough okays from the people they just throw it out there to the regular people and then 
they're like, hey, what's going on? Why is everyone so mad? Because they're, they are, um, they probably only pull to like 20 or 30% of their population and they kind of just ignored everyone else because everyone else didn't do their part and, um, you know, did the survey or left comments on the forums. I know some people, but like I said, you have to keep it level-headed. You have to keep it business level. Just tell them, I like this, I don't like that. If you do this, I don't want to play your game. Or I just don't want to spend money in your game and then slowly I will quit. But don't rage at them. Don't tell them they're dumb for doing this. Don't do none of that because that's that they don't like that they have to deal with that and if you have tens of thousands of people just think about it from like if tens of thousands of people came to you and just yelled at you and told you what you're doing is bad and I don't like what you're doing and how you're doing it that's just gonna make you feel bad and make you not want to do it and that's what happens like some of these companies they just close down because they just got yelled at too much it, it, it puts the communication between us and the company or the business poorly and then guess what they just talk to their small audience it's like are you guys okay with spending money like, oh yeah I'll spend a few hundred dollars and then they go, okay, we'll, we'll try to uh, monetize it more. And you know, they throw it out to everyone, and everyone else, else grabs it. It's like, hey, what, what, what the hell is this bullshit? And everyone else hates it, while there's a small group of people that are like, oh, this is fine. We, we, we all kind of lost our dedication to like a specific game. There have been, you know, some points where like it has risen but it also has fallen like Final Fantasy 14 it rose and it kind of fell off uh was it Lost Ark it rose up now it's kind of falling off New World it really rose up and it really rose back down but these games have issues you see I know I just it's there's a lot it takes so long to make an MMO to make it good, to make it likable, and then they have to throw the shitty microtransactions and fill it with stuff to make you spend money instead of just trying to make the game good so you want to spend money. You know, there's two different ways you can look at it. There might be a few more ways. Just leave a comment down below. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm rambling more and more because I'm, I'm getting these ideas back again. But... I wish I wish I can bring these points across to other people so other people can talk about this stuff too and just it's just bad it, it, it is just bad thanks for watching like comment share and subscribe check out my patreon if you want to support me but don't because I, I suck at making YouTube videos and stuff I'm too lazy to make real YouTube videos I just want to um, I just want to play my games bro like I, I don't want to think about life no more and and when when your game makes you think about how much money you have and how much money you can't spend guess what that's life I don't want to think about that I just want to play the game and increase my character's power and increase the strength and get better at PvP slowly over time and hang out with other people and enjoy the fake life of the MMORPG and not the shit life bye